everyone want about here and welcome to Slime Rancher 2 uh, tutorials. Eh, uh, they're just pop-ups. I'll leave them on. Tar, oh, you can turn it off. Feral, oh, that's lovely. Player damage, interesting. I don't know if I care. Save icon. Oh, yes. You can make it whatever. Oh, wait, is that like a, is a little like squirrel tanuki slime. That's a new one. All right, uh, gosh, what was my favorite? I liked the crystals. They're cute, uh, and dive right in. Okay, so, Slime Rancher 2 is available in early access today. Uh, I think it's available on, I think it's all PC platforms. I don't know if it's available on consoles yet. Uh, I don't get that kind of information. Uh, but it's 30 bucks, which, I don't know. I love the first one, so I think that's fine. So, after a long day of slime ranching, Beatrix LeBeau was enjoying a cool glass of carrot juice as she watched the sunset across the slime sea. Suddenly, a boat arrived at her dock with nothing inside but, but a mysterious letter. I like it that it's the same protagonist again, and that there's actually more of an effort to have like a story about her, kind of. I guess there was in the previous one. You got a bunch of uh, letters from a friend talking about things. We've explored the far, far range from the dusty shores of the Dry Reef to the fur furthest reaches of the Paris... Perilous Glass Desert. Boy, I am tripping over my tongue left and right. Even even there, when I'm not reading. Anyway. But there are worlds yet uncharted, Beatrix LeBeau. Rainbow Island awaits you. Climb aboard if you're ready for a new adventure. <laughs> Did she just hop on? <laughs> she does! Beatrix excitedly boarded the boat and it took her across, across the slime sea. Eventually, she saw an island unlike anything in the far, far range. Mountains, trees, and grasses in an array of colors that danced and moved like a dream. As she explored, she found an abandoned conservatory overlooking the rest of the island. Curiously, it was equipped with everything a slime rancher like her would ever need to wrangle slimes, start a farm, and build gadgets. Aww, it's the happy little Game Boy thing. And so a new adventure begins. Beatrix tightened her boots, readied her backpack, and set out to explore Rainbow Island to uncover its mysteries. I would love a Game Boy that looks like this. Holy snap, that would be great. Like, I get why we've moved more towards, like, horizontal consoles, but I'd miss something about the old Game Boy style. Okay, I cannot move. Now I can move, kind of. It's also making my computer fan freak the heck out. I'm gonna toss this down to that, turn on V-Sync, and drop this resolution. Perfect. Hopefully that'll make my computer not freak out. Okay, let's get moving. WASD, cool. These are... This is the port market. That's, I don't know, that's deep darkness that we don't care about at the moment. Hop, sprint. I mean, it looks lovely. Holy crap. We can vac. Excuse me. It is time for you to become my prisoners. Okay, we vac to slime. Bloop. Now they live there. Interloper, be gone. You're not a... Well, you know what? Maybe I'll just throw the chicken in there anyway. Okay. So wants me to toss tasty food acquired. The chicken? Oh my god, are they just gonna eat it? <laughs> I forgot they do that. <laughs> I legitimately Oh! Wow, you have a really floaty jump now. I like that. When slimes eat, they make plorts. Oh boy. Okay, right. Head over to the port market to uh, cash everything in. Sorry, I'm just enjoying this really floaty jump. I Most games have you go down immediately, and I kind of prefer this. It feels good. Okay, new box for hard-earned plorts. Covers the basics. Now to get out there and explore. Cool. So I got all sorts of stuff that I could do, but I think for now let's captiv uh, captivate. Let's imprison a whole bunch of blobs and wander. No matter where your adventure takes you, and it's gone. Well, never mind. It wasn't that important. This tutorial... Uh, let's see. Can I close... I guess I can close out of these. The tutorial ultimately isn't really that that important to me at the moment. I was just curious if there was anything new new that I should keep in mind. Holy moly. The, uh, the visuals on this. I realize that, like, it's not that much different from Slime Rancher, but they really upped the, um... Uh, the shaders and the texturing and the lighting and stuff. Like, this is flowing with color. 
I don't think I can describe it in any other way. And I... Ooh. Bunny? Bunny! Cotton slime. A hop, a skip, and it's gone. What? What are you? Accessing GG log. Well, here we are again. I'm sending out the drones all over... Uh, out to all their original scouting locations. Once I confirm the conditions are the same, I'll get to work. This place, I still remember being in awe of these rainbow fields. It felt like being in a beautiful dream. And I guess in a way it was. Because it because it ended much too soon. Okay. Okay, good. I don't have to worry about those. But I want to catch some bunnies. I'll probably I might honestly skip the the pink slimes. Well no, I mean I kind of should have a little bit of everything. But what are those? Oh, just carrots. Uh, let's see. Chicken just freak out. You know what? That's normal. Oh, that floaty jump. I, I will just continuously be complimenting it because it feels that good. I wonder if there's a uh, map I should worry about. Or if it's an upgrade that I have to grab. It very much could be that. Okay. What else do we do? I think we're going to head back. Inventory's full and I want to get all these bun bunnies down. Ooh, music's really good too. I haven't been paying attention too much. Oh, we are maxed out. I'll live. I'll go back for more. I like the conservatory. It looks really lovely. What if they're going to add multiplayer to this one? Probably not. Okay, so we can get a corral. It's kind of expensive. We can also get a garden. Uh, coop, silo, incinerator, and a pond. Okay. So a second corral. Yeah, let's get a second corral. Oh. Here's the question. I bet the bunnies are going to escape. I bet that I bet that's a legitimate issue that I can't just ignore here. Okay, so we have the high walls, we have the music box, the air net. What does the air net do? Uh, let's see. Covers the top as well. Solar shield. Plort collector. Oh, but that's expensive. Unfortunately, these boyos are kind of full. Just snag every plort that we've got. Did I eat one? No. I'm just going to leave them in there with all of the food. Looks like we also have little chickens that are respawning, I think. Oh, it's so cute. I am probably going to... Oh, it's actually really cute. I'm probably still going to end up feeding it to a slime because I'm a monster. Okay, so what's up with this? What are you? Okay, can't go through this. The gully. Uh, surrounded by tall rock formations and covered in amber grass. Fair enough. Oh, what is this? Oh, I see. Slimepedia. Slimepedia looks like a Game Boy. I really wanted to get one of those, uh, oh, what were they? The little, uh, Playdate handheld things. I realize it's, it's kind of a meaningless little thing to bring up here, but, you know, looking at the Game Boys, I'm like, I kind of really wish I had actually gotten one of those. Unfortunately, the, uh, the big, the big downside on the Playdate was, uh, I should probably have just picked up the pink slimes and extended that higher, but is what it is. What is this? Oh, call Victor? Hello? Hello, Beatrix, do you read me? Testing, testing? Hmm. Perhaps you're lost at sea, taken away by that mysterious boat never to be... Oops, nope, forgot to turn the display on. Nice to see your face again, Beatrix. I've missed you greatly, my dear friend. Well, I'm quite expect... I'm quite excited for you to partake in a new adventure. I already have... have data that might complicate things. Last night I received a message from some sort of AI. It's written in code, but not one I recognize. I'm in the process of analyzing it. But I'm certain that this message was sent from where you are now, the mysterious Rainbow Island. So to recap, a mysterious boat takes you to a mysterious island, and I receive a mysterious code from said mysterious island. It all seems quite... curious. Well, I've got work to do, and you best get get to exploring. Oh, I almost forgot. Take this home portal. It should take uh, make the early stages of your journey easier. Oh, but I gotta get to the fabricator. Take care, Beatrix. Cool. Where's Where's the fab? I wish to have a fab portal. Probably this... this thing? It looks like this thing. Uh... I know, this... 
Is this just the Slimepedia? Oh. Okay, Vac Tanks. Slime Slime's Basics. Resources ran Ranch. No. Yes? Maybe. No, these are the locations. World Science. Refinery Fabricator. Okay, so we're looking for a computer terminal -y thingamadoo. Anything here? Nope, that's cooking stuff. Unless, of course, I don't have a fabricator. Sleep. No, not gonna do that. And that's the comms thing. Yeah, we might actually be out of luck. I might actually have to fund things. Oh, the huge manity. I can't do that. I mean, I can. I kinda have to. <laughs> that's fine. Let's just wander around. I'll just grab like a goofy amount of pink slimes then. Because... They're not great, but the, uh, the buns are gonna just bail on me. I'll get up to 20, but then I'll probably stop. Wait until I can get those high walls. And maybe the net. And so in the meantime, snag these boyos. The other thing I can do, in retrospect, is actually... Uh, let's get a bunch of carrots. I might not be able to contain the bunnies at the moment. But I could feed them. Yeah, I don't have to, uh... I don't actually have to trap all of them at the moment. Like, I could, but I think we'll just want to come back later. They're cute and so splodgy. Because, yeah, that's... That's a little windfall in and of itself. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to pick them all back up again. Also, was that... Huh. I guess the bunnies will, like, ride other slimes. That's a new one. I don't know. What do we think? I could just get rid of the cotton slimes. Or we could wander around. I mean, I've got an amount of money. I would go up here. Okay. Eh, no, it's fine. I got to decide exactly how much effort I want to put into farming money immediately and how much I want to just kind of make it work. Well, we have a whole bunch of pink slimes now, so let's just fill this out and give them some more food. We have an escapee. Excuse me, sir. There we go. Perfect. Uh, let's see. Luckily, we have... Well, I mean, just enough inventory space. Doesn't really matter. And still a couple of carrots lying around. It's hard to collect these plorts. I... I definitively want the plort collector. And yeah, they'll probably bail on me. Oh, uh, what? Oh, interesting. Can't hold uh, multiple stacks worth of plorts. Oh, that's fine. I don't know how these carrots got over here, but... Whatever, this should be money. So this is the cotton. How much is it worth? 21 a pop. Price went down a little bit, but... It gets me what we most desperately need. Money. Large quantities of it. Oop. Okay, so, question. High walls. Not too expensive. And air net. It is more expensive than I thought. Well, I'm gonna hope these guys are... not too bouncy. I think we're fine. Okay, I'm just gonna leave them there. Now we've got some inventory space. I think I'm just gonna come back with, like, a goofy amount of food. Ooh. Oh, it's the, uh... Phosphor slime. I might as well snag at least a phosphor slime. We could we could have phosphor bunnies. Maybe not long term, like I'll probably tar over my entire lineup more than once. But they're probably worth a decent chunk in combination. I'm just trying to trying to think of like immediate monetary gains. Uh, do we even grab that? I don't know. Okay, let's 
Let's see, need something to harvest that. Good to know. Upgrade is needed to harvest that. And that's nothing I can harvest. I guess I'm just going to continue on this way towards whatever this is. It looks oozy, unsurprisingly. Okay, have y'all eaten all the food? No, good. The one thing is, uh, there are going to be a bunch of plorts around here, but... Collecting them is a pain. We need food. Alright. No plorts, only food. Refinery links. Oh. Conveniently transports resources back to the refinery. Well, I guess I can, yeah, I can throw in those extra ones. We also have the cat. I don't think I care about the cat at the moment. Maybe, maybe I should. I should care about nothing. Nihilism is the one true path. We have gone places already. I'm actually kind of impressed how big this is. It doesn't feel nearly as constraining. Okay, got a bunch of little chicklets, but I saw some food down here. It might just be a one-off thing. Oops, well, goodbye chicken. <laughs> chicken do. Oops. Oh, that's a combo. I think that might be a cat. Cat slime? Could, uh, cat phosphor, maybe? I don't know, it doesn't matter. Okay, anything around here. If I remember right, the lore for this ocean, by the way, the, the water that surrounds us is that it's actually just one giant amorphous mass. Nope, pink, pink slime plus phosphor. It's a giant amorphous slime mass that, uh... Oh, you can actually see what his diet, diet is. Appreciated. Okay, I'm not seeing anything else here. Well, I could yoink the rest of these for potential money-making purposes. I think farming is probably more practical. What is this thing and why is it glowing? I don't know, but it looks cool. Rainbow Island. Oh. So we've got a map now uh, of some variety. Map data required. Okay. Uncover more of my map. Oh, cool. So I can actually just press M to pull up a map. I probably should have tried that earlier. Q-berries. Oh, hey. Yeah, we definitely... Oh, I should probably actually use some of this money to make money. Ah, coming from that tree. Okay, anything else around here? Yeah, foraging is starting to get a little slow. Not too bad, but it's a little slow. Okay, cool. I bet once we have a jetpack, we can get up to the top of that, and that'll have something cool for us. But right now, I think we lack a lot of the tools and resources needed to really engage with this place. I'm just going to assume that's a light source. Could be something else. Any secret cube berries? Oh. Water le lettuce. Interesting. Alas... I don't have enough inventory space for that. Eventually, we'll get the ability to store way more. Danger. Hmm. I don't know if I should be here. Whoa. Hold up. That is a big lad. Pink Gordo. Uh, Pink Gordo. Well, you are a happy camper. Uh, where the heck am I? I am here. Okay, I'm just gonna walk out of here. I could feed the Gordo, but we need money. Okay, I have a vague idea of how to get back to him. I wonder if he's marked. Oh, good, he is. Oh, well, there's the Tars. You greedy suckers made a mistake. And I'm not going to be one to solve your problems. Okay, do we have much else? No. Back to the, back to the conservatory. I don't see any any more foraging spots, so I'm just gonna take my ill-gotten loot. And then maybe hopefully find a fabricator. Because I 
I would love to be able to actually warp back home at a moment's notice. As long as it's not consumable, that would be kind of sad. Okay, we also have chickens. And it doesn't look like any of these bad boys have escaped. Okay. We're just gonna... Let's see. Looks like they eat fruits and veggies. That should be pretty perfect. Okay. Now they're gonna get rowdy. You go in there. Okay, so we got a Largo. Uh, grabbing all of this is actually going to be weird and kind of horrible. Okay, so I'm going to throw in all of my Phosphor plorts. We want as many Largos as we can get. I'm just going to feed them that. No. Oh gosh, no. In fact, I'm just going to play it incredibly safe. And yote the pinks away. We don't really want them at this point. Which, you know, of course makes me feel like a monster, but whatever. I mean, I'm just going to assume that they just spawn out of the ocean. You know, you throw them in, they... They just kind of, I don't know, rematerialize after a week. Otherwise unharmed. Anything, uh, anything less than that would make me feel pretty bad. Okay, so we need the air net, I think. We also need the collector, but that's a pain. I probably should have actually gone for the, uh... Let's see, I probably should have... Jeez, I should have done a lot of things, but this gets me the internet at the very least, so they can't just bail. Because they are 100% going to hop out. Okay, so next order of business is yes, getting the port collector. Goofed on that. Uh, question, how much does a garden cost? 250. Worth it. Shoot a fruit or veggie into it, get more of that type. Looks like we've at least got some left. Uh, this is... I was kind of hoping we wouldn't just end up chucking all of our slimes into tiny little pens for the sequel. Okay, so that's just growing carrots. How fast it grows. I don't know. Okay. Three more. And then what do we do? Not enough. We need 500. Obviously, going up to like gold slimes would be lovely. Looks like most regular slime prices tend to be kind of average. You know, anywhere between 10 and 40. Oh, it just updated. Neat. You know, why didn't I think of going down into the creepy basement? Okay, so we have... This is a refinery. So, here are our upgrades. Requires money and cotton plorts to get a resource harvester. Uh, let's see. Heart modules, power cores, dash boots. Yeah, so we're going to need all sorts to actually get this. Uh, let's see. And those are upgrades. We also have utilities and warp tech. Looks like the home portals are one way. Oh! Uh, no, it actually probably... I only think I need to make one of those. It just has a times zero. Which is a bit concerning. Okay, do we have anything else in here? It's a creepy cave, that's for certain. Oh, you know, I just realized because I made my Largo's Phosphor Slimes, they're gonna die. <laughs> yeah, you need the cave. I was just thinking value. I wasn't I wasn't thinking anything else. All right. Well, I guess it, No. 
Here's what I'm gonna do. We need some more cotton slimes for sure. Because my Largos are, are going to fade from existence fairly soon. What we want to do is actually maybe go find one of the cats. I don't actually know if I need this many. It becomes kind of un unsustainable after a certain point. Okay, there were cats somewhere around here. Oh, this is... This is a whole new world. A new fantastic point of view. Ki kind of. It's not actually a whole new world. Oh, Cotton Gordo. Big boy. Also cute. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to see if I can find any of those mapping... Like the mapping AI thing. Oh, there it is. Okay, we now have access to this whole area. I think the cats were over here. Oh. I was so I was so in over my head when I first started here. I remember hauling Jellystone back to the conservatory by hand because I was so excited. Breathless and sweating, I was gonna I was going about everything all wrong, but I was happy. There's little time now, so I'll need these re refinery links if I'm gonna be efficient. This time I'm gonna do it right. Okay. There's a cat. You technically only need one. Okay, Tabby Slime. Let's see, Pink Phosphor Largo. But yeah, I'm pretty sure the Phosphor is Wink out of existence with the Dawn. Which is kind of weirdly sad. Hi. I desperately need some inventory space. I guess here's something I can do. Nope. Leave me alone. There we go. Huh. They're not disappearing. Which is interesting. Grab some more carrots. Okay, do we see any? Oh, no, there they go. Just poof. Yeah, it's kind of sad in its own right. Okay, do we have anything else or? Nah. All right, we got our two tabbies. Let's bring this back. Breed a new batch of... Uh, let's see, breed a new batch of, of Largos. Boy, everything got tarred up. If they weren't so useful, as dark as that is, I'd consider turning them off just for my own convenience. Where am I going? Oh yeah, we're going back. Nope. Unfortunately, these guys are hungry little suckers and eat pretty much everything. Foraging is not as efficient as I'd like it to be. But that's okay. I do miss some of the tightness and like small smallness tight smallness that just comes off as kind of weird i i miss the more limited scale of the first one fully because i'm having trouble uh navigating a lot of these areas feel very similar that's just kind of sad ain't it okay i'm just gonna toss all my food here on the ground I'm gonna come in here and clean this up. Because it is going to be a problem if I don't. Okay, so they're gonna eat. <laughs> there they are. <laughs> Cat bun. Bam. There we go. Okay, cool. And we are growing a carrot patch. So, alas, fruits are kind of not helpful. But carrots... Carrots are handy. That's a lot of carrots, too. I think we're gonna need uh, a whole slew of fields. Oh, it's just still growing more. Sick. So I guess I don't have to replant it. Or maybe I just have to replant it 
semi-often. I am not sure yet. Okay, so I'm just gonna let that take its course for a little bit. Let's go, let's go deposit our money. I don't know what I was thinking when I snagged the phosphors. I, I guess it just wasn't. It's been a couple of years since I last played uh, Slime Rancher, and so it's just kind of like, ah, they're cute. They're one of my favorites. And then it's like, oh yeah, cave. Oops. Okay. Oh no, we are... They are actually double porting. We just have to wait a little bit. Yeah, it comes off as a little weird. Okay, what else do we do? Now I'm just gonna snag all of the cotton. There we go. I don't think I need that much more. The other thing is I could try very hard to specifically feed the, the tabbies. Because I think it's the regular bunnies that are currently uh, eating everything. And that's a problem. Eh. Probably fine. Oops. Yeah, main goal here is just pick up everything. But leave the tabbies. Okay, I think that's the extent of what I can do. At least for the time being. Please be enough for the auto collector. I... Thank you. Yeah, if I don't have to go in there and auto collect myself, that's going to save me an inordinate amount of time. I could also just trash the whole thing. Like a complete scrub. Okay, port collector. Two types, keep them in a storage tank as long as storage is available. Hell yeah. Okay, so now we have this, so I no longer have to worry about cleaning up after their messes. As long as they don't somehow turn tar. Uh, geez. Come here, you. Boop. My bunnies are carnivorous. Ain't that freaky. They're safe for now, but when they get hungry, you're in trouble. I don't actually know if they changed the chickens. I think that might actually actually be the old texture. Oh, there's like a little bit. I don't know. Unfortunately, ugh, we pretty much need to get another uh, slime type. Well, we could actually go looking. Uh, something really slow, like honey, honey rock or honey crystal? Honey, honey rock, I think. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Though we might actually be kind of limited here. We should check this cave and this beach area. Because there might be something on either of those. Really, really rush. There's a mini map. Come here, snack. Enjoy. Okay. Uh, let's see. Other thing is... Let me get rid of the pop fruit for the time being. I thought those rocks were flowing. And I got weirded out. Okay, so we want to go over here, and then across. Oh yeah, there was that dangerous zone. I could go check that out, see if there's anything there. It was here-ish, but like on the other side. Oh. Well. I can still check it out, I just might not be able to do much here. Got it. We've got this, at least. Pod has... A Hydro Turret! Ooh! Defensive Cannon automatically... Blasts Tars with water. For you. Anything? Yes! Die, interlopers! It was not worth much. Okay, well, it's fine. Everything else I'm probably gonna have to come back to later. Now there's a chicken. Now, I'm pretty sure there was a higher, like another danger zone around here. It might have been this beach area or here? It m oh, it was this on the other side of the Largo. I guess I'll grab the pink ports. Just cause. 
pink slime and that poor hen hen. <laughs> you know what's gonna happen. We all know what's gonna happen. Okay. I don't know why I'm collecting fruit. None of my none of my current uh, slimes eat any kind of fruit. Okay, where am I? So we want to get over there. There. Yeah, I'd say we should get more carrots, but really, I'd have my garden. I guess I could run around like grabbing a bunch of spare plorts, but nah. Yeah, I mean, look, if there's money on the ground, I should probably hook, snag it. Worst comes to worst, I just toss it into the uh, the collector. Do I have that bunny? Yeah, I do have that bunny there. Okay, that's a nothing. Anything secret down on this beach? No. Okay. Uh, let's see. Hen hen. Ports. Nothing hyper major. Okay. It wasn't up there. Hmm. What was the danger zone? I thought it was. I thought it was up past the big dude. Well, here's the thing, I guess. I was picking up some of that food. I probably should use it on him. Okay, it is over here. Oh, well, that's one way to solve the uh, bad boy problem. Okay, we got anything else sneaky around here? No. Be gone, scrub. Okay, whatever. It's really a non-issue at this point. Huh. Okay, yeah, there's definitely an upper section. Hard to get to. Might have something useful. Be gone! What, we, what else? Anything? Don't make me come here for nothing. There we go. Small boulder. Well, that's not particularly desired, desirable. Blip, 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 blip. At, le at least we don't take falling damage. That would be unfortunate. Okay. Well, we got a couple of things for our for our efforts. Mostly nothing particularly useful long term. I I guess the tar cannon is nice if I start getting getting real feisty with my slimes, but I don't. I don't necessarily know if I plan on getting f getting too feisty. I still have this Q-berry. Begone! Throw in the pink plorts. Like a monster. Like a monster, I was there. Oh gosh, these take a while to grow. I might want to get the nutrient soil. So that's maximum harvest and then twice as fast. Uh, let's see, wandering slimes away. Yeah, no, that's for later. I guess let's go see if they've they've plorted. Let's go grab those. There's one, two. Is that all of them? I think so. Oh, I see one. I see one bunny. Not even you are safe. Perfect. Okay. Snag them all. I don't actually know if the tabby plorts are worth that much more than cotton. I think they're about the same value, considering they're in the same area. Twenty-five versus nineteen. Ah, eh, it's not bad. At least we got money. Okay, so now that we have a smidge of moolah. Let me take a look at this again. So music box, eh. Solar shields, nah. Clerk collector, the only other one would be the auto feeder, but even then, I don't mind just chucking food in regularly. And also we are kind of low on food. Uh, let's see, grow twice as fast? Sure. Just cause otherwise this is gonna take a while. 
Next order of business would actually be to accrue as many, uh, as many like little gadgets as I can. Hey, Bucko. Time for murder. Farewell. They look so pleasant as they fly off to their doom. I guess I might as well just run around foraging for a whole bunch of uh, berries as I go by. Because, like, berries, fruits, and whatever, because we've got those Largos. Like, I might as well make it a personal mission to pop them sooner than later. There should be enough resources at this point. And then hopefully after, like, one or two more harvest cycles, we'll have enough money that I can uh, buff up a couple more farms. I forget if we just have, like, a stupid amount of carrots. We're golden. I wonder if there's other, uh... I wonder if there are other omnivorous slimes. Unfortunately, my my memory for this is gone. I don't even remember the last time I played. Ooh. Have I been here? Well, there's danger up there. I legitimately do not remember the last time I, I played Slime Rancher, so unfortunately for me, uh, a lot of those like core base, basic bits of knowledge are gone, gone mostly replaced with video ga other video games. Ooh, nothing. Dang. Look, you see a little cave like that and you're like, maybe there's something in there. Oh, and we're capped out on carrots. Unless I can hold a second stack. Nope. This is a... this looks like a new area. Is this the same Cotton Gordo? It is. Well... Eat your grain, big mo big boy. I don't know how many more I need to actually feed to that guy, but it's probably gonna be a lot. Maybe. I mean, we'll know when he starts looking like he's suffering. That's... that's when you know you're getting close. I'll have to do this with Pinky, too. Now, there were carrots down here, unless they've devoured them all. Damn, y'all are greedy. Oh, well, there's the tar. Boy, they sure do look like they're not having a good time whenever this happens. If only somebody would do something about it. If only somebody would do something about it. Even if I wanted to, I, I honestly can't. Huh. Eh, seeing as I'm here. Okay, I got five carrots. Let's see, anything else here? No. Aw. It made a sad noise as it perished. Let's see, I'm pretty sure these guys have consumed everything in the area. The, the best time for me to harvest is uh, not the middle of the night, that's for certain. Though, I almost wonder if they're kind of inactive when I'm not nearby. Ooh, there's like a volcano looking thing over there. Nazzy. Okay, let's uh... I'm just gonna assume the carrots are, are done and dusted. We'll just drop whatever we have left. Oh, well. He's still looking like he's high on life, which uh... Cannot be allowed. Grab... Let's grab whatever ports we've got nearby. Oh, there, there we go. Farewell, Cretan. Nothing. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna start dumping these in here. I know I need money, but I know I'm also gonna need some plorts to make things. And so I might as well. Well, I guess you get to live today. Congratulations, you are a lucky duck. Okay, do we have more carrots here? Yes. I'm going to make that cotton fluff explode if it's the last thing I do this episode. Yeah, we haven't gotten up here yet. I want to look at this thing. It looks suspiciously manufactured for some reason. That is most assuredly not a hen hen. I know there's a hen hen standing in front of it, but it's like, I look at it and it says, hen hen. Hmm. Hmm. Doubt. Anything sneakeroonies? Aha! Gosh, this game is so shiny and colorful. Emerald Cypress Cluster. Cool. Two times more effective than a lone tree. Oh, there's another one over there, but... 
Yeah, I can't can't get to that. Do not have the tools required. Water lettuce. The only glass of water that has your daily dose of fiber. That... I might actually want to save one of these to farm. They don't look like they're that common outside of this singular area. I'll have to... I'll have to see if I can even farm them normally or if I have to do something weird. Eh, no, if they just popped out of the ground like that, I think it's fine. Let's see. Bah. I'll just toss fruit at this guy as he goes by, too. Anything else here? Nah. Okay. So, 14 more carrots should be enough. Well, well the massacre has begun. Fare thee well, creatures. May your sacrifice be ever in vain. There we go. Okay, what else we got? More fruitsies. I'm just gonna wander around grabbing as much as I possibly can. I love how you can just see where the the cotton largo is because oh, well that was cool looking. I guess the tar just give up after a while, and by give up I mean die. Well, there it goes. Okay, Gordo Slimes, Bon Appetit, and now we have the Secret Bunny Cave. Well, I don't know if there's much of a reason for any of this, but we've cleared it. Let's take a look at what's in the Bunny Cave. Ooh. Oh. You know that man-made hen-hen structure? I ain't no hen-hen. I guess I might as well back off and go take a look at it. I'm glad I stuck around to look at it. It looks like it might teleport me to the next zone. Just... Just kind of guesstimating. Farewell, creatures. Your survival... Well... Better luck next time. There we go. Perfect. Okay, and I'm just gonna keep grabbing uh, carrots as we go by. I figure... What does it take? 30? 30 or so things fed to a creature means uh, we could potentially start the next uh, next episode? Next episode. I'll, I'll play more of this. Uh, we'll start off the next one by potentially popping another Gordo. And see seeing where that leads us. For now, though, I'm just trying to get up and over. Aha! What? What? It wasn't this one. The bunny was here. Oh, it's over here. Oops. Well, I could go pop another Gordo. I mean, worse things have been done. I am ever the liar. Hey, boyo. Explode for me. Thank you. Huh. Get the money, get the fruit. Okay, I think I need to stand, like, right here. I have feet! That's interesting. Okay, so, popping the pink... Pink Gordo doesn't get us much more than... Oh, never mind, it gets us this. Well, last time, I was kind of far away. This time, I'm gonna be collecting fruit. Hello, send me into the light! Boy, wouldn't this be a jerkish time for me to end an episode? Hey, looks like we found Fire Mountain. Cool. Well, anyway, time to debate you. I'll see you guys next time. We're going to play more of this because it's super casual and I've got a really bad migraine, so this kind of works out really well for me. Uh, but for now, at least, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Oh, and of course, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. It helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new indie games every single day, and hit subscribe because I've got tons and tons and tons to check, check out. As far as this one goes, I will probably play a bunch of it in early access just because that's what you do. And then I'll be back for more when it's done done. I don't know if I'll ever start over because if I remember right, the last one had such a large grind wall that I ended up cheating uh, just to overcome some of it. So it'll probably be some kind of like weird hybridization. 